Blessed good evening, everyone. Welcome to another awesome night of praying on Nation Watch, where we watch over the nations and we declare the will and the purpose of God over the nations. Blessings on everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are happy to have you in with us. We are happy that you have joined us again on Monday to be part of this prayer and this watch team as we watch over the nations. Today, we are declaring the kingdom of God over the nation. We are declaring the season of God. That which God has ordained and planned for this season. We are declaring that it will come to pass. At the same time, we are quashing satanic agenda over nation. It will not be according to the plans of the enemy, but we are declaring the will and the purpose of God. When God created this world, he did not create a playground for the enemy to be executing all kinds of violence in the nation and all whatever malady. He created it for his power and for his glory. And as the ecclesia of God, we are taking our stand. We are watching and declaring that which God has purpose and plan for the nations, it shall come to pass. Hallelujah. So welcome, welcome, welcome once again. We are happy to have you. On behalf of Repairs of Broken Walls Ministry, the leadership, the senior pastor, Pastor Kurt Richardson, we welcome you. We are happy that you have joined us today. All those of you that are watching on um, social media, we ask you to share or invite someone else and let them know that we are on. It's Monday night and we are praying. Maybe it's Tuesday morning by you. because Depends on what part of the world it is. It's Tuesday morning already. Um, let them know this is the hour that we are on and we are praying for nations. God has asked us that his will be done and his kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven, so be it on earth. And that is what we are doing. So thank you once again for following us on social media. If you haven't followed the page, follow the page so that you can be notified whenever we are on. So once again, thank you very much we are happy to have you also on behalf of our nation watch leadership team we want to say welcome um as well i want to take the time off to recognize our nation watch leadership team i have with me right here on screen pastor agnes is part of the leadership team yes, thank you very is. much woman of god you're welcome apostle yeah we have minister um esther blackman st louis is also part of the um, leadership team. Minister Veronica Hazel, blessings upon her as well. And Minister Heliante Bent. God bless all of them. They are the ones that work together to make sure that prayers are going out continuously over nation. And God has blessed us with someone to stand with us and connect with us. I want to recognize him as well right here on um, screen with us, Apostle Oral Hazel, thank you. God Blessings. has fully connected you to work with this team and to work with this uh, assignment of watching over nation. And truly you are an apostolic father. Thank you very much for being there with us and for us upholding our hand and being a Amen. strong voice of encouragement. God bless you, man of God. May God Amen. bless you works of your hand, your ministry, your family, may the blessings of God be upon you. Hallelujah. And I want to first and foremost apologize that we have not seen our guests on um, as yet. I know we are promoted that we will have Prophet, um, we will have Prophet Rakim with us tonight as our guest. Um, however, we, we have not seen him on as yet. We waited a while, but we must continue and move on. He's welcome. Any, at any point, he can join in on this uh, program and join in with the press as well. We welcome him. We are hoping to see him still. But in the event, for whatever reason, we don't know he's all the way in the Netherlands. If something may have gone wrong that he could not have joined us today, we bless the Lord. We will still be able to continue. Prayer will still go out over the nation. And you, precious ones, will be in agreement with us. So God bless you. Thanks again. Um, 
we will, as we move forward on our prayer, I'm just going to give you the prayer lineup. We are, um, the three of us will pray. Um, in the event that Prophet Rakim come in, he will join in with the prayers as well. Um, I will pray over America. Uh, Apostle Oral Hesley will pray over the Caribbean region. And then Pastor Agnes will go along and pray over South America. If our guest is in, he will pray for Europe. If not, Pastor Agnes will pray for Europe. I will pray for Africa. Um, the Middle East, if Prophet Rakim is there, he will do it. If he's not, Apostle Hazel will do it. I will pray for Asia, and Pastor Agnes will pray for Australia. That is our prayer lineup for tonight. And as we are praying again, um, I'm reminding those of us that are following us and looking on social media, that we are watching and praying and declaring over nations. In Isaiah 21, God called um, his servant and he said, go up into the tower, watch and see and declare that which you see coming. That's Isaiah 21. I love Jeremiah chapter one very much. When God said, I've placed you over nations to watch. So if God um, placed a prophet over nations to watch, it shows that it is important important for the heart of God that there is someone or a team that is watching over nations and he said that you would root up hold down and destroy anything within the nation that Satan has planted um, that demonic forces principalities and powers the spiritual wicked that they are enforcing over nations we are gathered tonight and you are in agreement with us that we are pulling up, we are rooting down, and we are throwing down. At the same time, he said, we must also plant and build. So as we throw down, we are speaking the prosperity, the will of God, the kingdom of God being established over the nations. We are um, pulling down, but we're also planting and building. It's very important. You also have the parable. Um, I love this also very much when Jesus said, that the kingdom of God is like unto a vineyard where the master went out and sowed wheat. And while men slept, um, the enemy came in and sowed tears. So you have that what God is planning to do within the nations. When we, the watchmen, are asleep, uh, we are not watching what is happening. The enemy comes in and he plans on godly legislation. He uh enforce abortion, he enforces poverty, he enforces all kinds of things while men sleep. Men are always to be awake and to pray. So thank you once again for joining us with this awesome assignment of praying over nations and declaring the will and the purpose of God over the nations. Um, on this, um, the screen with me, you can see Pastor Agnes and also Apostle Oral. If any one of them would like to say anything, even a greeting um, to those that are there, you are free to do so now. With anything that God may have laid in your heart, you can go right ahead and share. Can we have Pastor Agnes first? We can greet the folks, say whatever you may want to say. Good evening uh, to all that are watching via social media. Um, my encouragement to you is that this year will be another year that we will see God hand moving. So we have to take our position, position ourselves to pray for them more for the nation, for our families. So as we are praying, please stand in agreement with us because only that when we are one, we'll be able to pull down the works of the enemy. That's what I want to say. Thank you very much, Pastor Agnes. Uh, Apostle Ora, can you just greet the folks, yes. please, and share whatever God may have laid in your heart, if so be? Wonderful. Great. It's good to be here, and we greet um, all the participants, all those who are watching us via Facebook and all the other media. We also send greetings and blessings to you, Apostle Napolina Richardson, and we thank God for what you're doing, keeping prayer alive, keeping the fire of God going 
throughout the earth. And so every Monday, we are here praying, seeking the face of God for nations. And we know we are going to live to see revival breaking out all over. I, let me see if I could find it's a particular scripture. It says, uh, huh, yes, it says in Habakkuk 1 and verse 5, it says, look at the nations and watch and be utterly amazed. For I am going to do something in your days that you would not believe even if you were told. Habakkuk 1, 5. And so God is doing, tell us to watch. We, we are watching in prayer. But he said, watch the nations. I'm going to do something. God have the last say. Amen. And God is still working. He has not stopped working. He is, there are supernatural activities happening. Every time there's a death, there's a transaction, a supernatural transaction, heaven or hell. Every time there's a birth in the hospital, in the home, there are supernatural transactions. We have the physical body and then we have the spiritual body coming from the heavenlies to come and, and to come into that body. So spiritual things are happening around us every day. Angels ascending and descending. God releasing the Amen. prophetic word on a daily basis so we have got to watch and, and, and on sunday uh, sunday i talked about it is time for god to work in psalm 119 126 it says it is time for the lord to work it's time for the lord to work for they have made void thy long so god wants to work upon the intercessors the apostles every believer it is time for God to work. So as we watch the nations, we're going to live to see entire nations and people groups and tribe come into the kingdom of God. Thank you. Amen. Thank you very much for those words of encouragement um, as we move forward. I really love that scripture and have a cup that we shared. I'm going to look at it again and read it over because exactly mm -hmm. this is what it's about. That before yes, Habakkuk God 1 will, 5. Habakkuk 1 5. I'm taking a note of it. That God will do a thing in the earth, in the nations. And when we pray, we allow those things to come to pass, to be birthed, that which God desired to do in the mm -hmm. earth realm and to, in nation. It can only be done as we pray. We must partner with Him and we pray. Thank you very much for sharing that verse with us. We are going to move forward into um, our time of prayer. We know that's what you have been waiting for. That's why you have joined us so that you could be in agreement. And without any further delay, we move forward in prayer. I'm going to start off by praying for America. And then we move forward with the lined up. Um, um, Caribbean, South America, Europe, Africa, Middle East, Asia, Australia. And we just move forward. And we just pray, declare the purpose, the will of God in prayer as the spirit of the Lord will lead us. Father, we want to thank you, O oh God, that even as you have said and written in your word in Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 5, that behold, that we will see you do a new thing within the nations. We come in agreement with that word, O oh God, tonight. In the name of Jesus, Lord that we will see a new thing being done over America. We lift up North America before you. We lift up Canada before you. We declare the kingdom of God. We declare the will and the purpose of God being fulfilled. That new thing, oh God, that you desire to do in the land, Lord, that it will come to pass. In the name of Jesus, as we come to agreement, I pray, God, that Angels, oh God, will be at work, oh God, so that that new thing can be birthed into the Americas. In the name of Jesus, God, we pray and we speak for a mighty revival, a mighty awakening. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we speak forth a shifting in the atmosphere that those things that does Amen. not al align itself with the purpose of God, with that great thing and that new thing that you will do, Lord, that they will be shifted in place and there will be alignment 
in the name of Jesus, I speak to the elements, oh God, that they will align and be ready for the dunk pouring and for the doing of God. Make way in the name of Jesus for a mighty infiltration of God's glory and God's purpose and God's power in America like we have never seen and never known before. In your mighty and holy name, we pray, visit America once again. Visit Canada once again with your power, with your glory, with supernatural occurrences. Visit America, visit America, visit Canada. In the name of Jesus, and right now, we take authority over satanic agenda in the Americas in the name of Jesus. And you say that as we watch, we are to throw down and root down and destroy. And in the name of Jesus, we look at all forms of systemic injustices and oh God, we root it out in the name of Jesus, Lord, inequality and discrimination, we root it out, we destroy in your mighty and holy name. Father, Lord, let your will and your purpose be fulfilled in your holy and mighty name. Father, Lord, we pray, oh God, for a cleansing and aligning of your body, oh God, in America a strengthening of your church where it may have gone off course oh god in the name of jesus we pray and we stand in agreement oh god to bring us back in line bring us back on course lord so that we will be ready for the outpouring and the mighty revival in the name of jesus lord where anything that is not of you have crept into the body of christ father lord we throw it back out father lord we move oh god from temple to temple, oh God, and we are sweeping out tonight. We are sweeping out tonight. We are sweeping out and we are clearing out, God, anything that is not of you. We clear it out and we throw it out. In the name of Jesus, oh God, even mindsets, oh God, Father, oh God, from the top to the bottom, let there be a cleansing and a sweeping. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we come against the pandemic. Father, we come against all forms of uh, sickness and diseases and whatever else the enemy might want to put and disrupt. Father, any rumors of war, in the name of Jesus, we speak the peace of God into the America, into America, into Canada. In your mighty and holy name, we lift up the president, oh God, of that mighty nation before you. And God, in the name of Jesus, we cover his mind under your blood. In the name of Jesus, oh God, and we speak, oh God, that angels will work alongside him. In the name of Jesus, Lord, and we cause to be aborted any demonic agenda that would come to the table. We declare there will not become legislation in the name of Jesus, but the will and purpose of God. Father, give him wisdom, give him insight, give him foresight in the name of Jesus that he will work according to your agenda for America. In the name of Jesus, fill his mind and fill his thoughts in the name of Jesus with your plan. Father, Lord, we shut every demonic air, every demonic voice from in his ear. Father, every ungodly counsel, we pull them down. We disrupt ungodly counsel in the name of Jesus. And we say our president will align himself with the agenda of heaven. In the name of Jesus, his advisors will align themselves with the agenda of heaven. They will give godly advice according to the agenda of heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for his staff and those around him, oh God, that they will not give ungodly counsel, oh God, they will not take the skill and push things in the wrong direction, but that there will be aligning to the purpose of God in the name of Jesus, that there will be great favor. God, I speak, oh God, even to the uh, culture within America, Lord, that is going against the values and principles of God in the name of Jesus, Lord, we call for aligning there where there are ungodly principles that are being promoted in the name of Jesus. We speak and we say it shall align to the purpose of God. Father, America will be biblically correct in the name of Jesus. They will not walk, oh God, politically correct, oh God, 
But Father Lord, even so, Lord, they would align themselves, oh God, with the, the biblical principles, with biblical values in the name of Jesus. Strengthen the church in this hour. Strengthen the church in this time. In the name of Jesus, I come against the plans of Lord of the Illuminati. In the name of Jesus, oh God, all forms of new age and Lord, lodges and families. We shut them down and we pull them down. In the name of the will and the purpose of God will prevail in America. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, God. destroying tonight on godly agenda. In the name of Jesus, ungodly legislation. In the name of Jesus, it shall be according to the will of God. And again, God, we emphasize that Habakkuk 1 verse 5, Lord, that which you declare, Father, we pull it, oh God, from the spirit realm, oh God, from the heavenly realm to be manifested on the earth realm, that you will do a great and mighty and awesome things, Lord, and our eyes shall see it. And we shall know that it is the doing of God. We thank you for the prosperity of America. It shall prosper in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, that its economy will be strengthened and stable in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, for what you are doing in America. I thank you, oh God, for the changes you are bringing and aligning you are bringing. In your mighty and holy name, I pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank Lord, we thank you. Oh, Rabba Kotush Kandala Laba Kati Shebarandu Rishata Bingriba Shuyaba Kandala Laba Rosho Kotoba Yandala Randu Laba Kotush Kandala Reba Katash Kileba Rabba Yandala Reba Kotush Kandala Lord, we cry and we weep over the Caribbean. Reba, Lord God, cause us, O God, to realize our purpose. Cause us to realize yes, our vision. Jesus. For mental slavery. We come up against the spirit of defection. We're defecting more and more away from God. We pray, O oh God, over our leaders. Jesus. And so, Father, in Psalm 119, verse 126, it says, It is time for the Lord to do a great work in the Caribbean region. Lord God, do a great work in Trinidad. Do a great work in yes, Tobago. Lord Jesus. Do a great work in yes, Lord Jesus. Do a great work in Anguilla. Do a great work in Barbados. Start within the church. My from the God. pulpit to the door. Lord God, let there be a spirit of revival Thank and you, restoration. Ezekiel 37 and verse 9. Come from the four winds, O breath. Breath of God and breathe upon these slain yes, that Lord they Jesus. may live. Let the breath of God blow from the four winds, Lord God, and bring form, bring structure back to the Caribbean leadership in the church, outside yes, the church. Lord bring, Lord God, shrink back to Barbados, bring strength back to Jamaica, bring, Lord God, we call your blood Jesus. upon St. Lucia and St. Vincent. God. In the, name of, in the Jesus, name of Jesus, the yes. Bahamas, the Santo Domingo, Lord God, bring yes, Lord God, Lord. the churches back together, bring the scattered bones of the church that is strewn all over back together. Let in your the fresh name wind of Jesus. blow. Let fresh your wind, wind of, of purpose blow. Let yes, men, God, Jesus. Lord God, and women who once put their trust and faith in you. As we Lord pray, Eta, let them ba, ba, sense ba, ba, a new dimension. Lord Jesus. God, blow in their mind, their soul, their spirit. No longer will they sit under a tree on a Sunday and not Jesus. just even coming into the house of God, but they have a bake off under a tree. They have a drink off under the tree with their beers. But God, you look high and you look low. 
We are praying, Lord God, you're going to shake everything that needs to be shaken in the Caribbean. Yes, Lord. Let Your them be word ashamed. says in Isaiah that the, that the Caribbean, the isles shall praise you. The isles shall yes, sing. Lord, and Jesus. there will be a shaking in the isles. And so, Lord yes, God, we Lord. prophesy in the islands to awake, awake. Yes, Lord Put on your strength, O oh Zion. Yes, and so, Lord. Father, I thank you. We lead once again in the yes, kingdom of God, Lord, in Jesus. the Caribbean. Lord God, you mm -hmm. strengthen the men and the women of God, the apostles, the bishop, the pastors, the evangelists, the yes, teachers. Lord, Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, they come up with creative thank ways, you, even during this pandemic, to get the word of God out in the name oh and the God, blood of Jesus. Jesus. We come and we curse that which is cursing the church and the believers. This pandemic, this COVID and all the variants in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I thank, thank you, you Lord that Jesus. your yoke is easy and your burden is light. Let your yoke destroy this pandemic. Let your yoke destroy this COVID. For Father, you're, 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 you're crying out uh, for men to look up. You're looking, you're crying yes. out for the population in the Caribbean yes, to look up. Lord. The one, you, Lord Jesus. God, in Egypt, the Egyptians cried when there was darkness in the land, palpable darkness, darkness that was, can be felt, darkness that was pushing them back. They cried, and the Israelites cried, the believers cried, and the unbelievers Jesus. cried. And God, you heard, and you brought forth deliverance. Lord God, now My it's God, your time Jesus. to do a great work in the Caribbean, yes, in the name and the blood of Jesus. In the name you of have Jesus. Raise up people who were held back. Raise up people who were set back. Day. In the name and the blood of Jesus. Raise up the intercessors. We raise up the prayers in the Caribbean. In the name yes, and the Lord blood Jesus. of Jesus. Lord God, I thank you. In Psalm 115, verse 16, it says, The heaven, even the heavens, are the Lord's, but the earth he has given to the children of men. You have given the earth for us, O oh God, to work, yes, to Jesus. pray, to intercede. And we are putting in the work. We oh, are doing Lord, the work. We are interceding. Man. Lord, we are praying for men. Men, men who are in backslidden condition in the Caribbean, men who once once preached your word, women who are in a backslidden condition, who once preached your word, taught your word, taught in Sunday school, Thank and because Jesus. of what's happening in today, they're right now careening back. Thank now, Father, we are trying out a prayer lifeline for them. We are we are commanding them to come on back into the kingdom of God. Come on back, back in the name of Jesus. That they are going to forsake that vomit out in the world and so they're going to forsake it they are going to reject it we are calling back uh, the prodigal yes, sons Lord, we're calling Jesus. back the prodigal daughters in the caribbean to come back home in the name and the blood of jesus lord god Thank we send the caribbean calling our prayers to come Thank back Jesus. home come to your right mind we prophesy come to your right mind come to your right mindset come on back into your, your spiritual walk with god in the name and the blood of jesus Lord God, release your blood upon their minds. Release your blood upon their hearts in the name and the blood of Jesus. Lord God, we stand. Thank you, Lord we are not Jesus. going to get weary. We are not going to be tired. Strengthen the hands, Lord God, of those who are hanging down low. Strengthen the hands of pastors, yes, pastors Lord and Jesus. the bishops. Strengthen the five yes, soul. Lord Strengthen Jesus. their back. Strengthen their physicality. Strengthen yes, their spirituality. Lord. Strengthen them in the anointing. Pour out fresh anointings. Let a fresh wind of, of God blow from the four corners. And we speak yes, to yes. dead churches, dead closed down churches to live in the name of Jesus. And arise to be, we prophesy arise to be a strong and a mighty army in the name and the blood of Jesus. Lord God, your word declares in Habakkuk 1.5, you say, as we pray, we must watch, we must look. You say, look into the nations. Watch into the nations because something is going to happen to amaze us. So, Father, we are watching and looking at the Caribbean. Look in the, the archipelago of the Caribbean. Let your blood begin to flow over the archipelago of the Caribbean in the name of Jesus. Turn the hearts of, of men and women back to you in the name of Jesus. Raise up in the Caribbean. 
prophets raise up in the, 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 the Caribbean apostles, raise up in the in the Caribbean bishops, raise up in the Caribbean Caribbean evangelists again. Men like Turnell Nelson, men like Miles Monroe. Let the men raise up to share the word of God again on a global oh. scale in the name and the blood of Jesus. Let them know that there's a place in the Caribbean where men and women are praying and crying out yes. to you. And so, Father, we are waiting to see what you're going to do in the Caribbean. We are praying and we are watching. And so we are praying for a great outpouring. Isaiah 10, 27 says, and it shall come to pass in this day that his burden shall be taken away from off our shoulders and his yoke from Thank off you, our Jesus. necks. The yoke of the enemy, take that slave mentality yoke, yoke to Satan, yoke to demons and devil, off of our nation, off of our culture, in Haiti, in Santo Domingo, in Nevis, in Sinkis, in Monsterata, in, the, in, in the places, Lord God, islands that are given over to occultism in the Caribbean. Right now, Lord, we drop the blood, we drop the anointing, we mess up the ends, we store up covens in the name Jesus. of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Lord God, we call men and women who are young to God. clubs. Some of those are young men who have clubs and young women and families who own the clubs. Lord God, we are overthrowing the clubs now with our prayers and we are turning oh clubs Jesus. into outreach centers. We are turning some of these young Jesus. men to be anointed to preach. Right now, Father, without them knowing it, we anoint them to preach. We Jesus. anoint those young men who are over those clubs and over those places of ill repute. We, we anoint them to prophesy. We anoint them to preach. We anoint them to bring in the end time harvest. I tell you, some clubs have more people coming to them than churches so now we got to run after the club owners now father we anoint those young men Jesus. who know about business who know they now going to have trans down to transact spirituality because right now we are sending out the holy spirit we are sending out the blood to attack them we are sending out our prayers to overthrow them they are going to collide with the power the presence and the glory of god lord god you're going to change their mindset even tonight you lord god a whole number of them throughout the archipelago of the Caribbean. They're going to look up to you. They're going to cry out to you. They're going to say, God, I need you. God, you're going to stir up the heavens. You're going to stir up their hearts. You, God, you know how to bring men to Christ. Open up heaven. Open up hell. Let them see dreams and visions of heaven and hell and cause them to come into the kingdom of God. In the name of Jesus, God, you're the yoke, but you are the yoke destroyer. Today we pull down yokes that's destroying the Caribbean. We tear down the yokes that are destroying the Caribbean. We demolish the yokes that are killing the Caribbean. We shatter the yokes, political yokes. In the name of the Stymanus, Lord, we are praying in the Caribbean that we have some prime minister, some governor, some legislator who are calling upon the name of the, of the Lord, who are calling and say, it's time to pray. It's time to fast and calling their nation, their island to come and pray and fast. And so Father, in the name of Jesus, as we pray, you demolish, you wipe out, you live to ruin the works of darkness in the land that is yoking the people in the name and the blood of Jesus. Let it be so. In Jesus' name, we say amen and amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, my God. There is only one God. There is only one Savior, one Redeemer, one Creator. And that's the God that we are serving. His name is Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Father, we thank you, my God, that the earth and the fullness thereof belongs to you, my Father. God, as your people, God, we are standing in the gap my God, because you call us, God, to intercede for the earth. You call us to pray, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ from Nazareth, God. And that is what we are doing, God. We are on your mandate. We are in your will, my Father. And we thank you for the blood of Jesus that is covering us in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus, my God. Father, we thank you that we can lift up the continent of South America before you, God, in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus, my God. Father, we thank you, God, the landslide, my Father, 
Oh, Father, that took place, God, we're asking you, my God, that you will comfort those who lost a loved one, Father, in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus. My God, we are asking you, my God, that the poverty in, in South America, my Father, the Bible said, when nations turn their back on you, my God, then we will face calamity. My God, we will face pestilence. So God, we are asking you, God, that we be drawn back to you, God, the nations in South America, Father, in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus. Oh God, we are asking you in the name of Jesus, whatever is going on, my God, with drugs in South America, we are asking you, Father, in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus, that the Holy Spirit will move, my God, the revival, my God, that we have been praying for for years, my God, that we will see the revival, God, in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus. Jesus, thank you, God, that you're hearing our prayer. My Father, the young people that are being drawn into drugs, my Father being, my God, abused, my God, misused, God, to sell drugs for the drugs. Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus, we are asking you, oh, Father, only you can do it. God, because you see what we don't see, you go where we cannot go. So, God, we are crying out, my Father, for Teenage, my God, pregnancy. Oh, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my God. That is not your will, my God, but the enemy is using this to destroy the life of the, the those who have to take over tomorrow, the young people, my God. So we thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, you hear our cry, the cries of the mothers, of the fathers, my God. We stand and we come in agreement with them, Father, in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus. We are praying against the spirit of suicide, my Father, in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God, and God, that God is over all ages, my Father, we are asking you, Father, that you step in, that you intervene, my God, in the affairs of the nations in South America, Brazil, Argentina, Colombia, my God, Suriname, my God, and all those countries around there, my God, in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus, God, we are asking you, oh, Father, we are asking you for traffic deaths, my God. Oh God, so many traffic accidents, my God, resulting in so many people are losing their lives, my God. Sacrifices, my God, that are being brought. Oh Father, we are asking you, God, in the name of Jesus, we destroy every plot of the enemy, every witchcraft spirit, my God, operating God and bloodthirsty spirit, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God, that are are looking for human being God that they want to be sacrificed unto them, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ. And as we come up against that, God, you shed, you send your son, you shed his blood for us, my God, in the name of you to set us free. So God, I I'm asking you, God, together with those who are online and those who are here, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that you intervene, Father, in the name of Jesus, the saving of human life, God, I pray that the churches will continue to rise up in, in South America, my God, and they will take their place, my God, in the name of Jesus, my God, that we will stand knowing that we have power, we have authority that has been given to us by our Father to tear down the work of the enemy, my God, and that you have given us, my God, the ability, God, to build up men and women that can stand for righteousness, holiness, and what we believe, God, in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus, God, whatever crisis is going on in South America with Presidents, God, fraud, my God, we are asking you, my God, that the church of the living God will not be silenced, my God, because when your people call on you, you come into action, my God. So we're asking you, my God, that the church of the living God will do what they have to do, my yes, God, with Lord all Jesus. of us. 
called prayer. My God, they will unite, my Father. The enemy always use division, my God, to separate your people. But we are praying for unity, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ Jesus. of Nazareth. We are praying for education, my Father, in the name of just the right education, my God, that they can stand up, seeing God that they are human beings that you have called. They are worthy, my God, created in the image of Christ to do great and marvelous work as the Bible declares that those who know their God will do exploit my God in the name of Jesus and we thank you that as we are praying God our fathers are going forth into nation and changes my God are being established my God we thank you for the revival my God that you have promised and God we Jesus. are here to see the move of God to your glory continue to fill the earth and when your glory fills the earth my god we will see that which we have promised the revival my god the miracles that we have been waiting for we thank you my god for hearing our prayer in jesus and mighty matchless name hallelujah amen amen and hallelujah amen amen thank you very much for that prayer We just know that God is at work over the nations. I want to take a moment to acknowledge the presence of our guests. I notice you have entered into the room. We want to welcome Prophet Rakib of Powerhouse Tilburg. Blessings on you, man of God. We are blessed to have you to join us tonight in this time of watching and praying and declaring the will and the purpose of God over the nations. I'm going to turn it over to you can just greet the folks and you will be praying for europe you will go right ahead and pray for europe hallelujah hallelujah god bless you so much apostle napolina god bless you pastor carmen god bless you uh god bless you men of god i saw uh i'm praying just a minute I, i'm so honored to be here tonight i can already feel the presence of prayer here uh, the bible tells us to watch and pray and i feel tonight i an urgency to pray for the nations as we go in and watch listen for all those who are watching us for all those who are watching us online you need to understand even though we are online we are somewhere in the atmosphere we are praying we are floating yes, yes. over the nations tonight as we release prayers tonight something will happen tonight as we interfere in the affairs of the realms of the spirit as something will happen tonight as we move over the earth because uh, even though we may be sitting in a country, our spirit is moving across, is hovering yeah. over the countries, over the nations. Father, we come before your throne and we bring up the nations, we bring up Europe. Father, in Jesus' name, something tonight must happen in Europe. Something tonight must happen in Europe. I call to the angels of Europe. I call to the angels of Europe. I call to the angels of Europe. I, to of Europe. I speak to the prince. Over Europe, I speak every throne, every principality, every power, every ruler sitting over the nation of Europe. Tonight, we will have to bow for King Jesus. We didn't your name, but we came to the Lord. The angel Michael Satan, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. And tonight, we need to tell any fallen angel, demonic power sitting over Europe. God rebuke you. We did not come by ourselves. We did not come as superstars. We together. Kind of witchcraft in the atmosphere. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, every hole of the enemy, Mandos, Alasia, Peter, Kroshabah, we come against the power. We come by the power of the Holy Father as we are with the power of us let the Holy agree with anything we pray pray. may we see pray may we pray let we see as we come to Father refuse to pray in your name and don't see Father I need to see your results I need to see Oh, 
pray for you. Father, tonight, raise up every intercessor in Europe. Father, Alec, every intercessor who is sleeping, every intercessor life gone down tonight we urge you by the power of the holy ghost to wake up to wake up to wake up every blindness in europe wake up in the name of jesus wake up in the name of jesus that has been stopped we pray life that has left the church that has left the book of christ in europe tonight for revival tonight we are praying for revival you said in your word if my people who are called by my name Messiah, will humble them and turn away from the wicked tonight tonight we didn't come to play we came to pray tonight we didn't come to play we came to pray in the name of he mentioned you tonight we come for you every scheme every part in Russia is going on tonight we expose it demonic power ikazuda bahaya in the nation of russia tonight in the name of jesus we expose every plan we expose every plan we expose every plan we pray for the nation of germany right now in jesus name anything that is hidden anything that is hidden we command light illumination to shine in that nation now in the name of jesus we pray for the united kingdom in the name of jesus may your hand not depart from that nation father we pray for revival in the united kingdom we pray for france tonight father father in the name of jesus we rebuke father any spirit of witchcraft over that nation father we rebuke and we fight god anything oh father that came to distract oh father that nation father from serving you father we come against every spirit attacking italy father in the name of jesus father father we pray for spain father we pray for ukraine father anything that is happening there now Father, Father, any war plan, Father, anything, oh God, that has been stirring up, now in the name of Jesus, Father, we come against it with the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, we speak against, Father, any violence in that nation. We come against the power in the name of Jesus. Father, we bring Poland before you. We bring Romania before you. Father, we bring, bring the Netherlands, Holland, we bring it before you. We bring Belgium before you. Czech Republic, we bring it before you, Father. Greece, we bring it before you. Portugal, God, touch that nation tonight. Touch the nation of Sweden, Hungary, Belarus, Austri Austria, Serbia, Switzerland, Bulgaria, Denmark. Father, touch those nations, Father. Father, we come against every silent poverty in the nation of Europe, Father. Those who, Father, are dying, Father, from hunger. Father, in the nation of your tonight, Father, we pray, oh God, for solutions to come, Father. Any war plans, Father. Any, any political strategy, Father, to bring poverty into this nation father in the name of jesus we come against it father we rise up leaders to stand up we pray for every political leader father we pray for every church leader father we pray father for every person of influence every person of impact tonight in jesus name father let a turnaround come as we intercede father for every man and woman father father who has a voice in that nation who has a sphere of influence in that nation father we pray father for any political figure father father who is able for Father, to change things uh, 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 by laws, by bills, Father. Father, tonight in the name of Jesus, Father, let an infiltration, let an intervention of heaven, Father, come, Father. We pray for the prophetic in our in our leaders, Father. Not just church leaders, but political leaders. We pray for the prophetic in their lives, Father. In Jesus' name, may they hear God. May they see God. Father, we pray for leaders like Daniel, Father. We pray for leaders like them in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you, O God, what you're about to do. We know, Father, tonight, 
Father, you are infiltrating some hearts, Father. You're changing some hearts, Father. You're breaking some things, oh God. My God, my God in heaven, tonight I feel as we are praying, any spirit of unbelief, any spirit of unbelief, Mata da Bahasuda Bahadele be Akrashta, Lote Stamahadoze, Lipanda la Bakastura Bahata. Father, we pray now for the sound. We pray anything, oh Father, that wants to disturb Ale Shala Bahaya. The devil knows, the devil knows, the devil knows. Mata Jabaha, as we come together and we release this voice over the internet, that he has no stopping power. Listen, we cover this broadcast. Any sound interference, anything, Mata that wants the crackle of the sound that wants to disturb the sound listen tonight nothing will stop us from going into the nations nothing will stop us we will use social media to go into the nations we will come together Masala. father we pray now for the connection in the name of jesus and even for those who are watching and praying with us let the connection be pure in the name of jesus father father we take control over the airways we take control of the internet we take the internet for jesus tonight we take the internet for Jesus tonight. We take the internet. We take Zoom. We take Facebook. We take you. We take it for Jesus tonight. Let the sound matri salabaya likrendu zedekadu jedelebaya ilimi asula mahandi kadeya ruta zadabaha in the name of Jesus. Any plan he was plotting. Listen tonight as the repairers of the broken walls, as they are lifting up in prayers. Any wall in Europe that has been broken. Any any wall in Europe, Masatabaha, any gate in Europe that has been left open, Masutapaya, tonight raise up the watchers, raise up the watchers, raise up the watchmen, raise up the gatekeepers, raise them up, raise them up back into prayer. Father, any spirit of sleep, any spirit of slumber, tonight in Jesus' name, raise them up, revive them, revive them, Masatabaha. I don't know why, but the Spirit of the Lord is telling me, Makadigadeja, to pray for divorce. Leshuda I come against the spirit of divorce tonight, whether it's in Europe or where else. Father, you're asking me to pray for it now. Father, in Jesus' name, any strife in marriage, any discord, and every seed of discord sown into marriages, we are rooted now. We understand when Satan has the marriage, he has the church, he has the family, he has, Atu, he has the economy. So tonight, we are lifting up prayers for marriages. Father, Makadu Zaya, every Matalekalesha, Every attack on the marriages. Father, any seed of division, any seed of discord, we uprooted tonight, this year, in the body of Christ. No divorce, no divorce, no divorce. This year, in the body of Christ, I don't know, but I saw a man complaining. I saw a man complaining. I saw a man fighting. Any anger in the men, any frustration in the men, this time, especially Makaduza, any black man Masudabaha you will not leave your family you will not leave your house Matuzele Kadoja any witchcraft came to take the man any spirit of Jezebel came to take the man from his family tonight in the name of Jesus Rutazadabaya Ikazudabaha Litale Shapile Lebanda let Europe be known for mar for great marriages let Ishula Mahaya let our marriages glorify God let our marriages glorify God we didn't marry just because we love but we marry because we understand that our marriages will glorify the father we are bringing Europe Matusha let revival stir up in Europe in every nation I call you to revival to repentance bring repentance back into Elisha the nations of Europe bring repentance back 
back every spirit of religion you spirit master of tradition any religion of catholicism deep rooted in the nation roman cultures deep rooted in our nation we replace you for kingdom culture we replace you for kingdom culture we replace you for kingdom culture any roman calendar any roman time zone we replace you for the time zone of god the calendar of god masuda mahata let the replacement be we will not live according to caesar but we will live according to jesus christ tonight let there be an exchange in europe maya let there be an exchange in Europe. Let there be an exchange in Europe for kingdom culture, kingdom dynamics, kingdom principles. Father, you said, let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Let your kingdom come. Let your will in Europe in the name of Jesus. Mandala Maha. We prophesy for the kingdom of God the systems of God the principle the, the principles of God the standards of God <laughs> to be risen back up in, in Europe any carnality that is influencing the churches every carnality that is influencing the minds of the minds of men and women of God tonight your, 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 your hold is over we lose your hold you spit out of carnality we are coming back to repentance we are coming back to prayer we are coming back to intercession we are coming back to repair any wall that has been broken in the realm of the spirit over Europe father tonight we understand we are not here but we are in the realm the realm of decision making we, tonight we came to make decisions Yeah. listen if we don't make decisions Satan will make decisions for us if we don't speak up Satan will speak up for us tonight we came to speak up tonight we came to make a decision Eta, and we say Europe for Jesus Europe for Jesus Europe for Jesus Europe for G Mataya Europe for Jesus Europe for Jesus I don't know why I keep repeating myself but I'm making a declaration in the realm of the spirit Europe for Jesus Europe for Jesus every area of this nation I don't care if it's a Muslim area I don't care if it's a Catholic area. I don't care which religion. Tonight we came to infiltrate. We came to bind up every, and loose up every stronghold, every principality, every system, every altar that has been dedicated to foreign spirits, every altar that has been dedicated to spirit that is not of God. Tonight we came to break it. Any system, any pattern. Many of us, we live in poverty in poverty not because we don't make money but there is an altar of poverty a pattern a system in place to fight our finances but tonight in the name of Jesus you spirit of poverty you curse of poverty we break you in the name of Jesus this is the last year that people who love God ain't got no money this is a year that we break up every altar of poverty every altar every system that is built against a young man young woman not making and not becoming successful we break it in the name of Jesus let Europe be a nation of Christian millionaires let Europe be a nation of Christian billionaires let Europe be a nation that is able to worship God and be successful I rebuke every spirit mataja of poverty wanted to creep in the church creep in the church father we are gonna live by another standard let Europe live by another standard let Europe live by another standard the standard of the holy ghost the standard of the kingdom we will live on another standard father we prophesy any spirit of death any spirit of war ah we see you we see you spirits planning war planning planning hate planning anger sowing seeds of division sowing seeds of discord but Europe belongs to God every spirit of Antichrist that is creeping around tonight we expose you we expose you we expose you you will not have our children you will not have our youth you will not have our marriages you are tonight let let go let go 
go. Alesha, we are praying for Russia tonight and every spirit of murder. Alesha, every plan of the enemy, every satanic plan in the nation to bring disruption in the world tonight. Masudabaha, your word says, Arise and shine, for our light has come. It says, Darkness will cover the earth and, and gross darkness the people. But Father, you said that you will arise and shine. We understand that light shines brighter in darkness. Father, in this time, let our light so shine. My, yeah, yeah, yeah. Father, raise up the light bearers, raise up the light carriers. Father, to shine and to pray in this nation. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, I am muted. Father Lord, we lift up Africa before you. We declare your kingdom is established in Africa. We declare your agenda of heaven be established in Africa. In the name of Jesus and Father Lord, we speak and we declare over the economy of Africa. You shall arise in the name of Jesus. We declare that Africa will have a leading economy as God has willed it. In the name of Jesus, we come against the um, spirit of poverty over the land. We say your time is over. We dismantle your assignment. We throw down your altars. We throw down your erected systems. In the name of Jesus, we wash the economy of Africa by the blood of Jesus, Lord. And we declare that this year, in this season, Africa is arising as a mighty continent with a strong economy. Father, Lord, a strong economy, a leading economy, oh God, throughout the world. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we pray, oh God, for the resources of Africa, that it will be in the hands of the people of Africa. We come against the exploitation of the resources. In the name of Jesus, we call forth a shifting. In the name of Jesus, where land, oh God, has been taken away from the people of Africa. We command in the name of Jesus, a mighty land transfer where the land will come back in the hands of the people of Africa. In the name of Jesus, we prophesy to the economy of Africa. In the name of Jesus, we say, arise and stand to your feet as a mighty army, a strong economy. In the name of Jesus. So therefore, Father Lord, we want to address tonight by the Spirit of God, Lord, some indicators, oh God, that have defined Africa in the name of Jesus and have defined that it is a developing country. Oh God, that it is a poor country. In the name of Jesus, we speak to those um, landmarks. In the name of Jesus, we say, let it shift, let it turn around. In the name of Jesus, Father Lord, the national, the GDP, in the name of Jesus, we command it to raise right now. In the name of Jesus, you will no longer be the lowest among nations. In the name of Jesus, but the continent, every country in Africa, we speak to your GDP. We say, arise in the name of Jesus. We speak to your production level. We say, arise, you shall produce, you shall feed your people. I come against illiteracy in Africa. I come against every indication, and every mark of poverty. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we sweep it out. We command it to be gone. We throw it down. As your word says, uproot it from in the nation. We uproot it, oh God, and we plant, oh God, your righteousness. We plant, oh God, development. In the name of Jesus, Lord, even what is produced from the soil, oh God, the cocoa, oh God, Father, oh God, even Lord, the riches of the land, oh God, the diamonds, oh God, the tanzanite, oh God, all the gemstones in the name of Jesus, no longer will foreigners benefit, oh God, from the riches of Africa, but the people will eat and benefit from the riches of Africa. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, tonight we root out tribalism. In the name of Jesus, we root out racial hatred. We root out ethnic hatred. We root out tribalism, oh God, where these people will be fighting against each other. In the name of Jesus, we speak unity within the land. 
In Jesus' holy name, Father Lord, I lift up the leaders of every country. In your mighty name, we come against corruption. We root it out. We say no more in the name of Jesus, oh God. Father Lord, even the situation where colonial powers, oh God, are demanding, oh God, payment from these countries, Lord, where so much of the money of Africa, Lord, is draining back out to colonial powers. We put a stop to it. In the name of Jesus, the riches will remain for the land of Africa and the agenda of God will be uh, fulfilled. We come against foreign altars that are built, all forms of occultism. We throw them down in the name of Jesus. We root them up, all forms of ancestral worship. We root it out in the name of Jesus. Lord, where they are burning incense in the hill, oh God, we declare there shall only be prayers in the hill unto Almighty God. In the name of Jesus, no longer will there be building foreign altars on the hills, oh God. In the name of Jesus, let your will be done. Let there be a mighty awakening. In the name of Jesus, we speak your blessings over Africa. We speak your blessings over the people of Africa, over South Africa and Southern Africa. In the name of Jesus, your day and your season of blessing has come. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Father Lord, we um, speak your blessing over Namibia, over Zimbabwe, over, over Zambia, over South Africa, over Malawi, over Botswana, in the name of Jesus. A mighty turning around in your economy. You will know prosperity. In the name of Jesus, you will be able to feed your people. In the name of Jesus, you will be able to educate your people. No longer will your people be building another country, but they will be at home building their own country. In the name of Jesus, mighty schools will arise. We speak, Lord, um, universities, oh God, that will be training the human resources, training the people. In the name of Jesus, I come again, brain drain where the educated people are leaving, oh God, but we declare, Lord, that the people will stay and build up their country. <clears throat> in the name of Jesus, we rebuild those walls. We rebuild those walls in Africa. In the name of Jesus, so be it. In Jesus' mighty and holy name, <clears throat> we speak your blessings, oh God, on Kenya on Egypt, on Ethiopia, on Rwanda, on Burundi, on Uganda. Oh God, all those nations be blessed. <coughs> in Jesus' name, be blessed. Father, even in Northern Africa, oh God, Sudan, Algeria, oh God, your blessing be on those nations, oh God. In the West, oh God, Ghana, oh God, Nigeria, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Togo, Benin, let your blessings be upon the people in the name of Jesus. Let there be a mighty shifting, a mighty turnaround in Africa. We declare your will and your purpose. Let there be a mighty revival, oh God. As you strengthen the economy and bless the land, even so, oh God, strengthen the body of Christ that it will be that out of there would arise great men and great women to the gospel. We pray, oh God, that in this season, that mighty men and women would arise that would travel to the world to bring the gospel of Christ. In the name of Jesus, we give you glory, oh God, for what you will do in Africa. In Jesus' name, that you are turning it around for your good. In the name of Jesus, corrupt systems are falling. In the name of Jesus, the minds of the people are aligning with your glory and your agenda, that which you desire to do in this hour. In the name of Jesus, I have turned around in Africa. As you said concerning Israel, it shall no longer be turned forsaken. We declare it over Africa. It shall no longer be turned forsaken. It shall not, no longer be turned desolate. It shall no longer be turned um, um, in poverty. Oh God, but it is turning around. You will have remembered Africa today. Lord, you will remember Africa today. You will hear the cry of the people of Africa and you will bring mighty restoration 
and you will bring mighty restitution of all that was stolen from Africa. Lord, it will come back, oh God. That was the palmer worm and the conquer worm have taken, have eaten, oh God. Let it be restored. There shall be restitution of that which was taken away from Africa. In Jesus' holy and mighty name, we give you praise and give you thanks that Africa will arise to your glory. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. We Amen. will have um, Prophet Rakim again. We'll pray for the Middle East. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we pray for the Middle East. Father, you tell us to pray for the peace of Israel. Father, we pray let Israel be the center point for the Middle East. Father, around all the countries that are around Israel, let Israel be lifted up. Let Israel be lifted up in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray, God, for protection. Let Israel be a, a beacon of light, Father. Father, illuminate Israel in the name of Jesus. Father, any acts of terror against that nation. Father, in Jesus' name, we pray for angels of fire. We pray for angels that come as wheels of chariots. Father, we call upon the thrones of heaven. We call upon the cherubims of heaven. Father, we call upon now. Let the angels surround that place. May Kadosh Shabai Labaha. May Archangel surround that place. Father, as we are coming into places, Father, where as the Bible says there are wars and rumors of wars. Father, in Jesus' name, protect Israel, Father. Protect that holy nation, Father. The nation that you have blessed. The nation, Father. But, Father, we pray against every spiritual tradition, Father. Any religion in that country. Father, we pray, oh God, let them not be stuck in what you have done. But, Father, let them catch up in what you are doing now. Now. Father, in Jesus' name, we pray for true prophets in that nation to keep on hearing the voice. Father, not those just what they heard, but Father, what you are saying now. Yes, Lord. Rise up intercession for the Middle East. I'm praying, Father, of any acts of terror. Father, I'm praying for the hidden Christians. Father, the hidden churches, Father. Father, we pray for protection in Jesus' name. Father, those are countries, God, where people cannot say the name of Jesus loudly. So, Father, in Jesus' name, we are praying, God, Masula Malaya, Father, to protect them. Father, we pray for the missionaries in that place. We pray for the evangelists in that place, pastors in that place that are running for their life. Father, we pray for an intervention, God. Father, Father, we are sitting cozy, Father, in the Western world where everything is fine and we can profess your name. But, Father, there are countries, Father, in the Middle East, oh God. Father, there are where they will get killed, Father, for saying the name of Jesus. Father, we are bringing them up, Father, before your throne. And we are praying, Father, for any spirit of hatred, Father, any spirit of terror, oh God. Father, let we break, your, break that hole in Jesus' name. Father, we pray. Let angels Angels, Father, start to descend in that nations. Let angels, Father, start to descend and cover, Father, any man or woman of God. Father, cover any church, oh God. Father, under your protection, I pray, God, Father, that the uh, that the law enforcement, Father, of those nations, with the military of those nations, will be blinded, oh Father, when it comes to your people. They, Father, they will not see the people, Father. Father, that they will look over, Father. We pray, God, the blood of Jesus over the hidden churches, Father. We pray that the blood of Jesus, oh Father. Father, we pray, God, that you will rise up Ezekiel's, that they will prophesy against the dry bones, that you will rise up Daniel, who will not sit. Daniel was in the Middle East. Matea, and they told him you gotta bow. They told him you gotta bow. But there was a young man by the name of Daniel that said, Mandro Sulamahaya, I will not bow, but I will fast and pray. Raise up Daniels in that nation. Raise up Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego goes in that nation. Father, raise up Matosha witnesses in that nation, Father. Father, we know that you're about to do something in the Middle East. We understand, Father, that the Middle East is, is part of your plan of the end times. We know that things will happen there, Father. So we pray, God, let our eyes be fixed stated. Father, on what you are doing in that nation. Father, today, we are raising up the watchmen, Father, in those countries. Father, we pray Pray God, Father, uh, that even the Al-Qaeda, Lord, that has taken over regions there, Father. We pray that Jesus will start to take back regions. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we rebuke Masuda Baha, any acts of terror. Father, in Jesus' name. 
Father, any racial indifference, any discrimination in, in the Middle East, Father, we come against it in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for the spirit of freedom. We pray for the spirit of freedom. And at the name of the Lord, we be lifted. He says, when you lift up my name, I will draw all men to me. I will draw all men to me. Draw, draw the nations in the Middle East to you, Father. Draw them to you. Draw Iran. Draw Iraq. Mashallah. Draw Syria. Draw them, Father. Draw them. Draw them. You said in your word that nobody can come unto me unless I pull them. Pull those nations close. Pull those nations close. Pull them. Pull the pull the leaders of those nations. I pray, Father, that the leaders of those nations, Father, will meet the Holy Ghost in their bedroom. Meet him. Father, I pray for the lawmakers of those nations. Father, I pray that the Holy Spirit will convict them, arrest them in the name of Jesus. Father, we are praying for the children, Lord, that are dying every day. Father, we're praying, Father, for children that are a part Father, of suicide missions, Father. Children that are being used, Father, to commit acts of violence. We are praying for an intervention. We are praying for an intervention, Father. We are praying, oh God, that heaven will touch the Middle East. Let heaven touch the Middle East. Let heaven, Masuda Mahaya, infiltrate the Middle East. We command angels in the street. We command angels in the built. Masuda Mahaya. Let heaven touch the Middle East. Let heaven touch the Middle East. Let heaven touch the Middle East. Let heaven Latush. We command in the name of Jesus in the nation of Saudi Arabia, Father, where, where there's murder, Father, in the nation of Syria, where there's calamity, let heaven infiltrate. Let angels walk in those streets, Father, to keep people safe. There are so many people dying, Father. Innocent people, Father, dying, oh Father. Not just of war, not just of violence, but of hunger. Father, in Jesus' name, raise up people. Let us make a change, Father. Not just in prayer, but in acts of love, Father. In acts of love, oh God. Father, we pray that you will raise up people, God. Father, raise up millionaires, Father. Father, who can send funds into that nation, Father, to help people. Father, raise up missionaries, Father. Father, who are fearless, oh God. Father, in the name of Jesus, to send them into those nations. Father, we pray, oh God. Palaysia. Every spirit of hate, Father, every hate against you, every antichrist, Father, in those nations, Father, Father, we rebuke you, we pray for the uh, for the nation of Egypt, Father, Father, we pray, oh God, every witchcraft and sorcery of that nation, Father, our ancient sorcery that is still in place, Father, that is keeping the people down, Father, in Jesus' name, we come against it, in the name of Jesus, Father, we pray for peace in the Middle East, we pray for peace peace in the Middle East. Any war that is going on, secret war, Father. Father, Father, political uh, 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 people in place who are using violence for their benefit. Father, I pray, oh God, Lord, that you will rebuke them, oh God. Rebuke them, oh Father. Rebuke them, oh Father. Father, I command the spirit of peace, the Prince of Peace, to operate in those nations. Father, tonight as we are watching, Father, let anything that was about to happen tonight, let it be cancelled. Anything that was going to happen tonight that it be cancelled anything any plot any plan any strategic move father of demonic entities of the enemy of violence father tonight in jesus name let it be cancelled in jesus name father we stand with your spirit and we rebuke every spirit that is not of god every spirit that is not of god we come against you we come against you in the name of jesus any spirit that wants to rise up that does not belong Tonight we rebuke you. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, as we are rebuilding the walls of the kingdom, we are breaking down the walls of the enemy. We are breaking down the walls of the enemy. Any wall that has been built, any strong town, strong city, strong house, stronghold, a strong place, anything, and any plot, any plan, any region that has been dedicated to Satan, tonight we came in to 
overtake it. We came in to overtake it. Every region in the Middle East that has been dedicated to Satan, dedicated to violence, Mashura Mahandala Brahadaya, tonight in Jesus' name, we rebuke it. We come against it with the power of the Holy Ghost. We tear down every act of violence. We tear down Eshura Mahaya, every word spoken against that nation, every witchcraft spoken against that nation, every curse, Mashura Mahaya, against that nation. In the name of Jesus, we come against it in Jesus' name. Father, we pray for Yemen. Hey, Fala Bahaya, we are bringing it before your throne. Every act of violence in Yemen, Father, in the name of Jesus, tonight, somebody somewhere is scared for their life. Somebody somewhere is scared to say the name of Jesus. Somebody somewhere in that nation is scared to pray. But Father, in Jesus' name, let a spirit of revival be stirred up in that nation, be stirred up in that country, in the name of Jesus. Father, tonight you are raising up intercessors that are praying for the Middle East. Ah, and we are making declarations. We are making declarations that the name of Jesus will be popular in the Middle East. My God. We, we put Jesus for president in every country. We put Jesus as governor in every country. Let the name of Jesus Christ be famous. Let it be more famous than Gaddafi. Let it be more famous than Bin Laden. La Shaprata La Bahaya. Every name, every person that was famous in that country, every, every martyr that was famous in that country, tonight we dethrone you and we put Jesus back onto the throne. La Paila we put Jesus back onto the throne of the Middle East. We command Jesus for president. Father, any form, any bills, Father, any laws that are making, taking place to further oppress the people, we cancel it tonight. Let it not be done in Jesus' name. But Father, we pray for laws out of heaven, laws out of the kingdom of God to take place in that nation. I don't care how many Muslims are there. Father, we came to take Take over. We came to take over. We came to take over. Raise up Christians. Raise up Bible believers in that nation who will not take no for an answer. Who will not live according to the status quo. Father, the Middle East is for Jesus. The Middle East is for the believers who believe in Jesus. The Middle East is for Jesus. Mata Jala Bahaya. The Middle East belongs to God. The Middle East belongs to God. Father, we pray. Mande Jada Bandoja. Raise up father people oh god father who uh, 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 to fight father any spirit of unbelief in that nation any spirit of unbelief many of them it is culture that has risen and up they don't even believe in their own god it is a spirit of culture a spirit of unbelief that has infiltrated their hearts but father we pray for true repentance father to turn from their wicked ways and to follow Christ in the name of Jesus. Father, we are praying. Father, let no child in the nation go, go hungry, Father. Father, we believe for solutions. Father, let make us a solution. Make us a solution for that nation. Make us a solution for that nation. Make us a solution for that nation. Any problem that is in that nation, Father, raise up men and women who can pray, who can become keys to unlock doors in that nation. Father, we are not giving up on the Middle East. We are not giving up on the Middle East. We are not giving up on these Muslim countries. We are not giving up on these violent countries. We are not giving up. We will pray until we die. We will pray until we die. Father, we will not take our comfort zone for granted. We are not taking our, or the place that we live for granted. Father, because our people there dying, Father, because they serve you. So, Father, we are not giving up. So, Father, we are lifting up every pastor in that nation. Every minister in that nation. Father, we pray. Father, I pray, oh God, for boldness, Father, and wisdom and understanding and knowledge. Father, pray. Give them the strategies, Father, to live under those circumstances. Give them the strategies, oh Father. Give them insight, oh Father, to live under those circumstances, to change things into their benefit, oh Father. Father, we pray, Father, that even in those nations, Father, those who believe in you, Father, 
will live in benefit. You said, O oh, Father, in your word, that eyes have not seen, for the ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man, Father. Father, that you which you have planned, prepared for those who love you. Father, there are so many people in, in, in the Middle East that have a love for you, have a love for your son, Father. Father, do not forget them. Father, may your gaze be upon them, Father. Look upon their need. Look upon their problems, Father. Hear their cry, O oh Lord. Hear their cry, O oh Lord. Father, they are crying for an intervention. They are crying for things to change. Hear their cry, O oh Lord. Father, we are crying for the Middle East. We are crying for them, Father. We are crying for them. We are crying for them. We are crying for them. Lord, raise up a standard. Raise up a standard. You said in your word, no weapon, no weapon, fashion or formed against us will prosper. And Father, you said you will raise up a standard. When the enemy comes in like a flood, any flood in the Middle East, may the Lord raise up a standard. May the Lord raise up a standard. Father, in Jesus' name, you said in Amos 3 and 7, Father, that you will not do anything, Father, before you reveal it to your servant, the prophet. Father, raise up prophets in that nation. Raise up prophets who can hear. Raise up prophets who can see. Raise up prophets with wisdom. Raise up strategic prophets. Raise up prophets in the system. Raise up prophets in the school. Raise up prophets of Father. Masili bi antikalaha izata. Father, raise up, raise up sleeping prophets. Raise them up, O Father. In that nation, raise up Ezekiel's. Raise them up, O Father, who can prophesy to dryness. Who can prophesy, Father, and let things happen. Raise them, Father. Raise up intercessors. Raise up gatekeepers. Raise up watchmen. Raise them up, Father. Raise them up, Father. When people are slumbering, when people are sleeping, they are awake. Mashtabai la katista ma azute le kalija is da 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 ba antrosta la bahanzua. Father, we pray. Give us the passion to pray. Give us the passion to pray for the Middle East, Father. There are so much things going on, Father. And we forget, Father. We take for granted our safety. We take for granted, Father, for the fresh water, for the flowing in our house, Father. We take for granted, Father, Father, that we can go to church. Many people take your church for granted, Father. They take your church for granted, whether our countries, Father, that they are not even allowed to go to church, oh God. There are places in the Middle East where they have to hide mashtula mahaya hide in caves hide in buildings without light father just to come together and worship you but father we are making excuses father not to attend church not to attend prayer not to attend these things father father i pray oh god let our eyes be open to what the world is really going on father and let us stand into the gap father of those who have to whisper your name maya yaya we can cry out jesus but our places that only can do is whisper the only they can do is whisper father we are crying out for them father if they can make a sound tonight we are making a sound for them oh father father we are making a sound for them we are making a sound for them we are making a cry for them father hear the cries father father as blood father is shedding in the street as blood of, of children father is flowing down the streets father as blood of the innocent father is flowing Knowing that father you said in your word father there are stories where where blood the bible says that the blood of abel was crying out to the father when innocent blood is shed may that blood cry oh father may the may the realms of the spirit hear father that the shedding of the innocent the shedding of of innocent children father as the blood is flowing father down the streets father let heaven hear it let heaven hear it let the rest of the world hear it, Father. Father, I pray, oh God, and, and any crimes, oh Father, that has been put, oh Father, oh God, where people don't see it, war crimes. Father, let it be exposed in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for this program, Father. I thank you for this platform. I thank you for the men and women of God. I pray, oh Father, that they will raise up prayers, Father. Heat, fire for the nations of the Middle East, Father. May a turnaround happen. In Jesus' name I pray. Hallelujah. My God. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, Lord, we bless you. We thank you, oh God. We declare you are God of the nations. And so, God, we lift up Asia before you. We declare your kingdom is established in Asia in the name of Jesus. We declare the agenda of heaven is um, infiltrated and being established in the name of Jesus. We establish the culture of the kingdom over any other culture in Asia in the name of Jesus. And Father, oh God, we lift up the countries in Asia before you, oh God. We lift up Japan. We lift up China, Hong Kong. We declare your glory. We declare manifestation of your power and your anointing. Father, a great awakening in the name of Jesus, the supernatural, the signs and wonders that men will be drawn unto you, oh God, and they will believe, oh God, compelling signs and wonders, oh God, that will draw men and women unto you, oh God, in that part of the world. In the name of Jesus, Lord, that your name will be made known, your name will be made great. In the name of Jesus, in fact, as we pray for those nations, oh God, we pray against all demonic structures and we pull them down. In the name of Jesus, demonic cultures, we command to fall to the ground and we say liberate the people, liberate their minds, liberate their spirit. In the name of Jesus, they will see a great light and they will be drawn to the light of God's glory and God's kingdom. Lord, we lift up Pakistan. We lift up, oh God, India in the name of Jesus. And tonight, Lord, we take the caste system and we shake that culture in the name of Jesus. We command it to fall. There is no wall erected, oh God, that cannot go down by your power and by your grace. If the walls of Jericho as thick as the wall fell to the ground, so we shake the foundation of the caste system of inequality, oh God, that is producing poverty that is keeping a stranglehold of poverty and masses of people in the name of jesus we command that world to fall to the ground and lose its grip on the people of india in the name of jesus those in the lower classes lord that can't find their way up there is no hope to come in out of poverty i speak to the walls of poverty i command them to fall Altars of poverty, I command them to fall. Structures, oh God, has been put in place, oh God, to enforce poverty and enforce inequality. In the name of Jesus, oh God, I command them to fall. All forms of religious injustice, in the name of Jesus, against the people of, of God, against the people of India, against the people of, of Pakistan, the people in Asia, they fall to the ground now. In the name of Jesus and God, we lift up standards of righteousness, of holiness, of opportunity. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, of a strong economy. We breathe change, oh God, in Asia. We call on the winds of heaven to blow afresh over Asia. In the name of Jesus, even the peace, oh God, in North and South Korea. Oh God, we shut down every talk and every thought an idea and wish of war and war monger and we say it shall not be but the peace of god that passes all understanding would reign oh god in, in in korea in the name of jesus i thank you for your angels oh god that you are sending to take their post in korea in the name of jesus father oh god i lift up indonesia you have placed indonesia on my heart and in the name of Jesus, oh God, we call forth your power, your glory in Indonesia. We come against, oh God, all the ungodly worship and witchcraft, oh God, the foreign altars, Lord, that is erected in those countries. Oh God, the foreign cultures, oh God, we bring them down. We lose the minds of the people. We save and we cut it off. And we call the people of Indonesia, oh God, to know you and to serve you, oh God. We come against markers of, of poverty. We speak to them in the name of Jesus. And we say you shall be elevated. The, GED, the GDP, oh God, in the name of Jesus shall be elevated, oh God. They will no longer be kept in poverty. In the name of Jesus, oh God, speak restoration to that country. Lord, where it has been raped, where much have been taken away from Indonesia, Lord, let there be a restoration and let there be an 
in a, a, a restitution by your power, your glory, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Touch the heart of the people where the hearts of the people have become hardened like stone. Touch their hearts, oh God. Let there be a great turnaround. Let great men and women arise out of Indonesia. In the name of Jesus, that will speak forth your word and declare your words. I pray for the church, oh God, those that are on the ground, those that are persecuted. In the name of Jesus, I speak strength to them. In the name of Jesus, I speak strength to them. I speak direction, the direction of God to the church in Indonesia in the name of Jesus, oh God. I pray, Lord, that you will send help. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, I come against, oh God, any form of illiteracy and hunger in the name of Jesus, Lord, that that too will turn around. Let the agenda of heaven prevail in Indonesia in the name of Jesus. We speak the same, oh God, in Malaysia, in Singapore, by the power and the glory of God, the light of God's kingdom is shining upon you. And there is a great turning around that is coming in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I thank you and praise you, oh God, for a great awakening and what you will do in those nations by your power and by your glory in Jesus' name. So be it in Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we bless your name. There is no God like the God of Israel, my Father. And God, we thank you this moment, my God, as we can put on the whole armor of God that you might be able to stand. Having done all to stand, God, it doesn't matter whatever shaking will come, God, we will be able to stand because we are clothed, God, with the armor of God that keeps us grounded, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, my God, as we are praying and calling on you tonight, God, we are praying for Australia, my God, Father, we are crying out to you. God, with the worship that came forth out of Australia, my God, and the enemy tried to silence that, my God. But God, tonight we are standing in the gap. We are standing with our brethren in Australia. You know what is going on in Australia, my God. God, you know, God, that many in Australia, God is so sad to hear that many cannot eat in Australia, God, to hear my father, the the. COVID situation in, in Australia, my God, a place where so much worship came forward, my God, but we are asking you, my God, that your promises, my God, that you have given, my God, to the people of Australia, we will see it coming to pass in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus. We are repenting, my God, for the sin of Australia, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God, abducting children, God, we are asking you, God, to forgive my father in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus. God, we are coming up against natural disasters, my father, in Australia, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God, and we are calling on the name of Yahweh, the God who is able to do exceedingly above all we can think or ask, my God, in the mighty, matchless name of this God, we are asking you, my God, at every out every other in Australia where you are not being worshipped, my God, we tear them down in the mighty matchless name of Jesus. We say, let the will of God be established in Australia. Let the altars of God, my Father, be risen, my God, everywhere. Be raised up, my God, everywhere in Australia. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your people, my God, not become discouraged. Let them not give up, my God, but that they will continue to cry out to you. They will continue to worship because in doing so, my God, they will see the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob rise up, my God, a covenant-keeping God. God will rise up on their behalf, my Father, to perform that which you have promised to them, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, my God. We are calling on the angels of the Lord of the four winds, my God, to blow, my God, upon 
Australia, my God, that life, my God, will come in every corner, God, of Australia, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, and the homeless, my God, we lift them up before you, my God, in the name of Jesus. My Father, we thank you, my God, that the church will not be silenced, my God, but that they will continue to speak. They will continue to pray. We are calling on the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah to roar over Australia, my God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, to bring life, my God, to the church of the living God. The fire, my God, will continue to burn on your altar in Australia, my God. We thank you, my God, that you hear our prayer. God, we lift up every man and woman of God in Australia. And we pray, my God, that they will stand up knowing that the God that they are serving is not a dead God, but it's a God who is alive and well. It's a God who is able, my God, to take us to every storm of life. God, in the name of Jesus, God, as we are praying, my God, over Australia, we know, my God, that you will do a mighty work, my Father, in the continent of Australia, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, all those islands, my God, we lift them up before you. Let the gospel will be preached, my God, in the name of Jesus, that souls will come into the kingdom of God. You are about souls, my God. So we thank you, God, that you hear our prayers, my God. We come up against the spread of crime in Australia, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God, we thank you, God, that you are hearing our prayer, the flood, my Father. We come up against it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We said, God, they may have predicted it, my God, but we are asking you to intervene, my God, because of your children's sake, my God, and for the, the sake of souls. We thank you so much, God, that you hear our prayer. We bless your name, my God. Thank you for covering us on the blood of Jesus, my God. Thank you, my God, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Father, Lord, we just want to thank you, oh God. Amen. Amen and this prayer team oh god tonight we want to thank you for the answer of every prayer we want to let yes. you know god that is such yes. an awesome privilege oh god to partner with you oh god on behalf of your kingdom purpose on earth and so god we thank you for the angels lord that has been released to work on behalf of the prayers the changes in nation the rebuilding of walls and the tearing down of walls we yes, get god. And praise, oh God, for your prophet, the man of God that labored with us tonight. We ask you that great grace be upon him in your mighty and holy name, oh God. We cover him, cover your family, his family. We cover everyone else, oh God, that was part of this team tonight, Apostle Hazel and his family, oh God, his ministry. Pastor Agnes, oh God, myself, my family, Father, all those online, we ask for your divine covering in the mighty name of Jesus. And yes, God. But it is so. It is yes, so, oh God. In Jesus' name. We thank you that your word says that you would always cause us to triumph. We thank you, oh God. We look to behold the wondrous things that you are doing in nations. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, folks, we have come to the end of another awesome, powerful, and anointed time in prayer and working on behalf of God's kingdom and um, praying over nations. We want to thank you for being there. But before we leave, I just want to give the man, I'm so honored to have had Prophet Rakim with us tonight. We know that it's morning by you. It's still night by us. We had to wake you up out of your good night's sleep. And you're up here praying with much fire and power. God bless you. We want to give you the last word. Anything you want to share with us or anything you want to say, we want to give you the opportunity to do so before we close off. 
Amen. It's, it's such an honor to, to be surrounded with some great men and women of God. Thank you so much. I honor all of you. Uh, thank you for allowing me uh, to pray with all of you. I can sense uh, there's a deep urgency for revival. And I know as I came the last time on this platform, uh, we should not uh, underestimate what God is doing on this platform. Uh, I see angels uh, being released. And like the last time as I came on, I saw us being lifted up above the earth. And I saw as we was praying, the prayers were releasing on, uh, onto the different nations. So I just want to encourage everybody, amen, and, and those who are watching, amen, to really keep on and pushing with this program. Uh, tonight, as we was praying, woman of God, uh, um, and I think it's, it's for us, all of us, to pray as well for loved and close ones, because I saw I saw a spirit master of division coming in and attacking certain men, and, and I saw there was a plan to attack certain marriages. So I pray, as we are praying for the nations, we have to make sure that our own household is put to, is strong put together and make sure there's no seeds of discord so i just want to release a declaration of all the marriage all the ministers who are coming on i don't know everybody who's coming on but every minister that is ministering from this platform i come against every division in their marriage Amen. seed of discord that is there we are in the name of jesus Amen. our marriage will glorify god our marriage will yes. glorify Oh God. Satan cannot have our marriages. Satan cannot have our marriages in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And as I was, as I was praying, I saw this wonderful man of God who I'm looking at right now, and I heard the Spirit of the Lord saying, and He showed me, He showed me you first, and I saw you breaking bread into little pieces and giving it to people. As the Lord is saying, I'm, I'm making revelation simple to you, and I, and I see you simplifying it to people. I see God giving you new revelation, but I saw you breaking the revelations in bits for people to start eating it. Uh, the Lord is saying, I'm shifting uh, your ministry. I'm shifting certain things for you in the season. I'm about to do some, some great things for you, man of God. But I saw a new revelation coming to you. And God says, you're about to simplify the revelation. There's a great teaching anointing on you where you can simply get truth and simply give it to people. But I see I see another another grace, another level, another dimension. And I heard the Spirit of the Lord saying uh, that, that God has covered your blood. He has covered the DNA inside of you and he says there's restoration I saw I saw I saw an I saw an exchanging of blood I saw your blood leaving and the blood of Jesus Christ entering into your body there's an exchanging of blood coming men of God I'm so happy tonight to be here because I see the spirit of grace has entered this place and God is up to something God is up to something it can be that we are praying interceding for the nations and and God not uh, figuring out uh, figuring out our own issues and problems Tonight, as we was praying, I saw the Spirit working on, on, on us, on our marriages, on our health, on, on certain things. Master Bahaya. So I make a declaration. Anybody that ministers from this platform, let another level of grace follow them. Another level of favor follow them. Another level of healing and miracles follow them. Anybody that came here to sacrifice prayers, that come to lift up in the name of Jesus. I make a declaration as your prophet, Father. Humbly, Father, in all respect, I make a declaration here, Father, as they come up, how young they are, how old they are, Father. Lord, I command another measure of grace on their lives, Father. As they leave this platform, Father, their lives will never be the same again. Father, this platform, it will be heard in the news. I don't know why, I don't know why, but I see very soon there will be some doors opening to countries like Pakistan. There will be some doors opening to some countries. I see, I see the doors opening. I see the doors opening. I'm hearing radio. I'm hearing platforms, even in Caribbean radio. I'm, I'm hearing different things. Father, open the doors for this platform. Open the doors, Father. Open the doors, Father. This, the, it cannot just be one place, Father. Let the, let this ministry, Father, break open, Father. Any barriers, Father. Any limitation, Father. Let this, let this ministry go out into the world, Father. Let the sound of of the repairs of the broken world let it be heard all over, Father. Let's the spirit of humility, Father, and grace. Father, let this let this ministry carry it in dignity, O oh Father, in the name of Jesus, Father. We came to make Jesus famous back again in the realm of the Spirit, Father. I thank you so much, and I make a declaration, Father. Whoever blesses this ministry will be blessed, and whoever curses it will be cursed, Father. In Jesus' name, Father, I pray. Amen. God bless you, Apostle. Love all of you so much. Thank you so much for for allowing me to minister. Thank you so much.
Thank you so much, man of God. We are indeed blessed and indeed by the mouth of the prophet, it is established. We receive it today in the name of Jesus. We wanna thank you for taking the time. I know it was three o'clock in the morning. So it's a great sacrifice for you to get up and join us. But it was great, it was powerful, it was very anointing. And we are looking forward to having you on with us again to pray along with us on this platform. May God bless you. Greetings to your apostle um, for us and greetings also to uh, Minister Lequan for us. He is uh, in our prayers, him and his precious wife. God bless you. Thank you once again. And to all of you that's watching on social media, YouTube, Facebook, wherever you are looking, God bless you. Thank you. And we want to encourage you. Keep praying for nations. There are some things that God wants to do for nations in this season, in this time. It will take our prayer. I am blown away and I am blessed by some of the things that God's been showing me. As I was praying over Africa, there were some things that God just started to open my eyes and to show me, as well as over the Middle East. There are great things that God is about to do. We must partner with him in prayer and see it happen. Indeed, as Habakkuk 1.5 said, there will be great and awesome things that will be done and we will see it, and we will behold it. All right, we know time is fast spent. God bless us on everyone. See you again next week, same time. On behalf of Repairs of Broken Walls Ministry and the National Watch Leadership Team, we thank you. We bless you, man of God. Blessings and good night on everyone. Good night to everyone.